Hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Gold. When we last left off, we had just been the Eevee sisters, and we took on a rival for the third time, I believe. Third, fourth, something like that. And now we are outside the city's gym, where we are going to be taking on Morty. I am here as a lovely gym, right? Pitch black, can't see anything, can't know, can't know where you're going. Nope, nope, nope. Cause that would be too easy. <clears throat> but, um, either way, the gym here is a ghost type gym. And thankfully for us, each gun knows pursuit, which is darkness and heavily damages the uh, ghost type Pokemon. So we should be all good. Yeah, we just might have to run out and actually uh, recover the pursuit just so we can take on Morty. <laughs> but either way, you don't really have to fret because I think I mentioned it during the second rival battle when uh, Ghastly was first introduced. Or if I didn't mention it whatsoever, um, any elemental... What was that? Elemental attacks will hurt ghost Pokemon. So, great thing to keep in mind, everybody. And, but either way, um, you just go skin picking probably a good couple of levels just because of what was that? I'm probably going to be using him a large majority of this gym. Um, I think the one time I'll switch out is if he gets knocked out. Or if they feel like being a-holes. <laughs> and just reduce my pursuit all the way down. <clears throat> Or if I get suck in a bit battle with our pursuit. Either way, a lot of these is going to be pretty easy. Especially since I'm going to be doing a majority of the damage. Yeah, so, yeah, just me and look me again. Like I am totally ever going to get out. Or the, the, like I would really even want to get out. Really? Alright, so, uh... I'm, I think I'm just going to walk out now. <laughs> Kill. That works. <laughs> I didn't even have to do anything. I told this guy he knows curse. I'm just gonna walk out now and pretend nothing ever happened. I was. <laughs> I was actually not expecting him to curse himself and kill him off. Kill himself off work though <laughs> all right so like I was saying we're just gonna walk all the way back to the gym like nothing ever happened because nothing did happen <laughs> all right so the thing about this gym is I can't see the floor so you can't necessarily know where you're going and just like example right there you can't tell where the floor is and you're going to have to kind of figure out yourself. So, unfortunately, I already know the path, so yay me. <clears throat> so, boom, by our invisible floor. Uh, I'd rather not because I already know this. 
Yeah, I might just actually make a misstep. Nothing much, so. <laughs> Seriously, though, like, this floor is not that hard to figure out, especially since, um, what was it? It, it's kind of an obvious floor layout. It's more so, um, if you're not really kind of thinking about it, I might just confuse you, but even then, it, it's still pretty easy to figure out, especially as the first trainer or two. And I'm meaning by, uh, not the starter one where he kind of forces you into battle, but this one as the first one. <clears throat> Man. <laughs> I love ghost type Pokemon. I don't like the rares of the Digimon and Digital Car Battles. <laughs> Just kill themselves off. <laughs> Oh my god, that was too funny. <laughs> it's like they just kill themselves off. Oh, look at that, they actually did. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, no, no, no offense. Uh, ghost types are pretty useful. Especially if you go into a gym that doesn't have any elemental uh, d Pokemon. And again, before our eyes. Oh, I wonder what that means. Oh, maybe uh, right in front of the trainer's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, like it just kind of ruined it. The floor is obvious. The only thing is. Right before the, uh, the trainer's eyes. Obvious enough. I mean, the only thing that might get a little confusing is where you go up, but... You pretty much saw where you go up. And I think that was probably about the only thing that can really hurt her to each go a lot. I keep killing yourself. Good thing the curses don't affect you after battle or else I think each go would be a uh, SOL. <laughs> what? He's had like four or five curses placed on him throughout this whole jam. <laughs> uh, that's just amusing. What was I saying? I am definitely lucky that the curse zone affects you out to the battle. Or else I'm pretty sure you would have been dead. <clears throat> Good thing curse, curse actually, um, what was that? Uh, takes out half the user's health. <laughs> I, I still... Oh, there's curse. I was gonna say, although I don't know why someone would put, uh, use curse if... Um, what was that? Uh, if it's like the last move of the game. Or the last possible move that you have. I can't even think of what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Alright, each goes 25. <laughs> yeah, too bad that he's probably going to die by the end of this battle. Oops. If not... Yeah, what was that? I'll just probably have to go revive him. Excuse me. Oh, um, by the way, off screen I taught Lucy surf. So, sup, dudes? 
<clears throat> Although, unfortunately... Oh, wait, I think we do get raid... Uh, rights to use... Surf out to this. I think, anyways. Either way, uh, let's that's our luck. Because we still be the gym leader of the ghost Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. I learned any Pokemon appeared to the true, truly powerful trainers. I believe that tale. So I secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more, with a little more, I can see a future in which I meet the legendary Pokemon. Going to help me reach that level. Um, Morty, I, I got some bad news for you. Fortunately, I let the dogs out. I, I am truly sorry. Oh well. Yeah, he'll get over it. Because I saw one other legendary Pokemon here. Or in this city. My bad. So I. <laughs> My bad, I let the dogs out. And I think that's uh, the Pokemon he's talking about. Whoopsie Dazza. Although, it's been a while since I've seen the anime, so. He might be talking about. Anime, cartoon, whatever. He might be talking about uh, the other one. Whoop whoop. Either way, we're going to take Lucy out because we're not going to give him the satisfaction of the curse. Don't stray, you're not going to hurt, you know? She's crazy, man. Crazy. You don't even know it yet. Uh, really, though, she is crazy. Do, 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 do. All right. Hold <laughs> on. Uh, loads of, uh, Ash's temporary haunt, uh, haunter he used against Sabrina. <laughs> I lost it at the end when Hunter actually looked up his eyes and started joggling it on his tongue. Uh, then again, I guess it, uh, the trio was just funny. Yeah. Something tells me I think uh, each go really would have been helpful here. Oh, thanks for that critical hit, though. <laughs> you know, keep up the good work. Do not stop being crazy. Kill him. Don't. <laughs> I was trying to make sure you don't fall asleep, but no. <laughs> oh, well. Mm-hmm. I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. Crap, crap, crap. Um, 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 uh, escape. Yeah, I totally need an escape rope. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to escape from this gym because who needs it? Yeah, I totally forgot. That is, uh... Oh, no, it's Shadow Ball, that's right. I was going to say, I believe that's Morty's signature move was um, Dream Eater. But, no, that's right, it was Shadow Ball, now that I remember. Or at least I'm pretty sure it's Shadow Ball. And what am I doing? I just thought about that. I was, no, oh, or I guess it works out both ways. I was saying there, I was like, I was just talking about how a ghost Pokemon... No, uh, never mind. I'm just gonna uh, zip my lips. I am totally not being smart about this. And I really don't know how Lucy survives. 
But I guess, oh well, I'll take it. But it's not as fun this time. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, well. I'm pretty sure Sona has this. <laughs> that would just be the funniest thing, in my opinion. I use Sona, and at the last second, I realized she doesn't have any um, <laughs> elemental moves. <laughs> and it's like, well, this has been fun. <laughs> yeah, screw you to go. Who needs him? The fog badge. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, this is where we get the ability to surf outside this uh, shadow ball. Yeah, I was gonna say I believe this shadow ball. Now we're just gonna sup because who the hell needs to go through the maze again? I sure as hell don't. <laughs> now, uh, really quickly, I think I know what I am gonna do or try to attempt to do really fast. Alright, so, as you can see, Pokemon, uh, the Professor's Age right here, he mentioned something about the, like, rage and the appearances of Gyarados swarming. And, unfortunately for him, he thinks a conspiracy's happening. So, what we are gonna be doing, yes, we are gonna go over there and hit them hard, hit them strong. I can't even keep that up, that, that impression. So, like I said, we are going to be going over to Lake Rage really quick. Uh, I can't even say really quickly. <laughs> because in all honesty, in, I'm just expanding the episode way more than it should be. <laughs> I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I, I pretty much am going to make this a longer episode than need be. So sorry anybody that was just expecting the Gen 5, but hey, sucks for me. And inside this cave, you can actually get, um, I want to say, uh, what is his name? I want to say Tyog. I, I don't believe that's the right name, but... That's where you get Tyog, who can, uh, who's a uh, pre evolution of, what was it, Himonli and Himonchan, and actually the evolution of, uh, what Pokemon is it? Uh, him on top. But, unfortunately, I am not going to bother with that because I do believe we need to get the HM... Why was I going to say Swift? Um, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Um, but, Waterfall. There we go. And we don't get Waterfall for a little while now. So... Oh, that is right. Uh, here is the Pokemart. Don't ask why. Just don't. But we can buy Slowpoke Tail. Yeah. Delicious old, good old Slowpoke Tail. But... Or I guess not. Um... I was gonna say, I believe we can come over here and start the whole Ray Gyarados theme, but right now I am not really sure about that. 
And let the dawn, we are going way ahead of schedule. Because this is the seventh gym right here. And as it, and we have already skipped past two gyms. Not to say that this gym is tough, because in all honesty, it is not really even that tough. Or, I mean, not gym. <laughs> oh, crap, no. Um, not to say that the wild Pokemon in this area uh, are tough, but yeah, they're not tough. Cough, cough. Alright, so, what was I going to say? Uh, if you go off to the right, which I kind of avoided, uh, if you go in there, there are some Team Rocket grunts. And, unfortunately, if you go that way, you're going to have to pay a fine in order to pass through to go see the amazing Gyarados at Lake Rage. I think that's what they say. There's a way where we know that Gyarados right there, so... Oh, please, go ahead. Um, what was I saying? But, yeah, you're going to have to pay a fee, which I think is a 1000 or 1500 or 500 I don't know, something weird. Something along those lines, at least. <laughs> but if you come over this way, you're not going to have to pay a fine, so... Yeah! Rebelling against Team Rocket. Because he likes Team Rocket anyways. Yeah, they're not that bad. Grafar... Uh, Gra... <laughs> Grafagri? I can't even say his name. Uh, do I really even want to try and say his name? Oh, that is not fair game. That is not fair! <laughs> oh, and by the way, now you see Pidgeotto. Purr. Although, uh, what was that? It's not the strongest Pidgeotto you see. Unfortunately. And Sally, you don't even see, um, what was it? Pidgeot. Which, which I can uh, I kind of find weird. You win this time. Oh. I totally was not even paying attention to what he said. Oh. Well, that might be why. He's kind of crazy. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's kind of crazy. I have a stage 3 Pokemon at level 19. You can't beat me. Your argument is invalid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of bad. Honestly, like if... Actually, I can't even say because I think I actually did it in po our last Let's Play in Pokemon Red. Whoops. I was going to say, I know me personally, if I was going to, um, if I attended to use a Nido King Queen or kind of any Pokemon that needs a stone to evolve, I would personally just kind of uh, level the pre evolution first up until, uh, I can have nice and ready to evolve. <laughs> but then again, like I said, I can't really remember if I actually did it with I won't say Needle Keen in the last game. And unfortunately I don't think we can really even escape that that guy, so I don't know why I'm trying. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry everyone. Uh Oh, wow, well, we can. Um, what was I saying? Uh, if you come here, oh, you can. Uh, if you see on the 
top left hand corner of the screen, you see a Gyarados. And unfortunately, he's pretty much the only one in the game. Although, I what certain Gyarados are red too. But, um, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. The crater filled up with the rainwater and the lake forms. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, but that guy in there was talking about how there were match car way before uh, the Gyarados started roaming around. But well, like I said, um, this it, uh, the Gyarados in here is only Gyarados, only wild shiny Pokemon you can actually um, capture, and in a random battle that is kind of expected. So uh, catch it if you want to. More likely than not, you're probably not going to see uh, another Sunny Gyarados for a while unless you use cheats to have all your Pokemon shiny because everybody likes shiny Pokemon, especially that shiny Charizard because he's black. Yeah! <laughs> the only reason I brought up Charizard was because I know for a fact he is black when he's shiny. And that's kind of awesome. Uh, but really quickly, uh, what was that? Oh, the professor's aide was sitting there talking about how, what was it? They're scared doses and the like. If you want to actually kind of encounter the scared doses, you're going to have to stay here and kind of fish. Although, I believe. It's, uh, I believe you need a good or super rod first in order to actually, um, what was it, be able to, uh, see the Gyaradoses from fishing wise, anyways. Right now, I can't remember where you actually see them on. Uh. I mean, where you get the good or super rod out. I think super rod you get in that other region. Huh, weird. The professor was a liar! Like, I even remember in this game when, uh, before the catch of the red Gyarados, somewhere, this place was filled with Gyaradoses. And then after, you barely saw any whatsoever. You lied! Saying there's no match carp whatsoever. I don't think I'm saying. But either way, um. What was that? Uh, I'm pretty much gonna end this part here. And in the next episodes, we are actually gonna be heading the other way. Because this was solely of an relevant and importance right now. Because, uh, what was it? Like I said, uh, this is near the seventh uh, gym, and we are kind of skipping our ahead. Although it's not really that far ahead from the wild Pokemon perspective, anyways. But, uh, yeah, the guys are looking for Gyaradoses. Might want to come here, or at least high level match card. Either way, see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Gold. See you guys in the next episode, and have a good day, everyone. See you guys next time.